Hello again, YouTube. AJ Shaver here, and uh, today we have a new app from Kurt, uh, the same people that make like the hitches and stuff for the pickup truck. They have an app. It's called Better Way, and um, just a little sensor that plugs into the OBD2 connection underneath the console down there by your left knee in the pickup truck. So um, we got that plugged in, just a little calibration with it. So we'll see how this all kind of pans out, and I'll get the camera flipped around and show you what we have going on. All right, so I'll show you um, what this looks like inside the truck. So that's what actually plugs into uh, the OBD2, then it all kind of goes via Bluetooth. I'm gonna try and do a screen recording of the app and see what that looks like, but that is all fresh cut red oak on the trailer. So we'll see what everything weighs. So here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put the tripod up, show this. I'm gonna say we're right at about 27 and a half just off the top of the the pinnel ring there for the little clamp down piece so i'll set the tripod up lower it down and then spin it so you can see all the weight truly is off of the trailer i do have the airlift company uh, bags in here i'll push on the little button there is no air pressure in the bags. I have never pulled any punches when I've talked to you guys on the phone about how much these trailers actually weigh on the tongue of a vehicle. There's just, you have the actual loader itself, which we're gonna call that like 2,000 pounds um, for the 19 footer. So the 17, 15 are a little bit less. The 21 and 23 are definitely gonna be heavier, but effectively you've got 2,000 pounds sitting basically six to seven feet behind you know, the pinnel ring on the trailer hitch. So there's a substantial amount of weight. Now, this truck is a 2,500, so it's a three quarter ton. You know, as I said earlier, you know, the only difference from a three quarter ton to a one ton with the Chevy are the extra helper springs. So we do have the airlift bags, you know, on this one. So now that we know this drop from 27 and a half to 22 and a half, so we have five inches worth of drop and it looks like it's heavy. I mean, there's, there's some big stuff that's way far forward on this. So when the, the gauge finally settled out there, it was about 2,100 pounds worth of hitch weight it went forward onto the Chevy. So what we're gonna do, I have my little air compressor. We're gonna hook that up, take the trailer, or not the trailer, take the truck to about 40, maybe that 45 pounds. And I wanna see where that brings, you know, the hitch back to, you know, on the, as far as what it drops you know, loaded. So we'll leave everything set up. We're right about 22 and a half inches. We'll put the air compressor on it and bring that up to about 40 to 45 pounds worth of pressure in the bags and just kind of see how that, that compensates it. You know, the airlift company, their big thing is take the squat out of the trailer and the truck combination. So we're going to see if we can eliminate some of that squat. All right. So we'll call it 22 inches. I had to readjust the camera here and I'm gonna turn on the compressor, then I'll walk the camera back. That's about 45 pounds, and it looks like it brought us up an inch. So let me take it to 50.
kind of going back and forth here looking at the the PSI and looking at the inches here this is a heavy load um, we're nearing 70 pounds and we're right about 24 so that brought us up two inches about 75 I think we'll call it here at 80 so this is definitely a little bit heavier than what I thought we'll kind of let things level out so I'm gonna say 80 pounds and two inches and when we were doing uh, the 40 pounds you know during the first video um, that was just to kind of compensate with the um, the trailer empty but with that substantial amount of tongue weight on there loaded it's uh, pretty crazy I was using the knife before to push in on the valve stem to make sure there were no air pressure left in the bags but uh, back off here and see what everything looks like it's not horrible I'd send it but I have no idea how much weight is on that trailer but it's heavy like I said in the video uh, previous video I think three of the logs on there maxed out the loader and that's 3,000 pounds so that would be 9,000 pounds within three logs. And then we uh, went ahead and stacked some more. So it's heavy. I know that. So I know I got a little nerdy here and probably more technical than most would, but I was just kind of curious um, what this thing actually weighed or if the app even worked. But hey, I think it was like 110 bucks. I've wasted more money on dumber things, so it was worth a shot anyway um so that's what we found out here with the kurt uh better way app and our airlift company airbags on the back of the chevy 2500 so eh, maybe you found it helpful maybe you think i'm just crazy but i think it definitely reinforced um you know my thoughts on how heavy the hitch weight is you know with these trailers and this is especially loaded uh the next video we'll try to break out is when i get all this stuff off of here and uh, just see what kind of tongue weight it has um you know empty and uh, this is why i always say at least a three-quarter ton if not a one ton pickup truck so all right guys thanks for watching if we can ever help you out with the sales quote on something it's 833 splitter that's 833-775-4887 you can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com and uh, we are trying to get the website back up to speed again with some of these camex trailers and specs and dimensions and all of that kind of crazy stuff so that's uh just shaverequipment.com and so i almost forgot my own website name all right, guys. Thanks for watching.